They say come and join us, the weather's much warmer Heaven's California Heaven's California Heaven's California <laughs> What is up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. Today I'm gonna to be giving you my full and unbiased review of the new mobile G3. Now new mobile has sent this out to me. They did not pay me, so this video is not sponsored, but just know I am giving you my full and unbiased review on the new G3. If you guys are not subscribed to the TechRite channel already, and if you guys wanna be a part of the tech gang, definitely hit that subscription button as well as turning on the notifications so you guys are notified every time I do upload. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start this review. So starting off, we're gonna be taking a look at the body. First off, for our build quality, we have an all metal and glass body. And in my opinion, it looks very similar to a much more premium phone, the Galaxy S9. And without that new logo, I'm sure a ton of people would think the same thing. I also love the vibrant sapphire color of this phone. It honestly just looks epic, in my opinion. The buttons on the phone are all metal and they are very tactile and responsive. I also love that we have a USB Type-C on this $200 phone. Uh, but the downfall is that the only way we can use a headphone jack a certain adapter we are giving inside of the box and it is very very easy to lose as far as the speakers go it looks like we have two cutouts for one of them but honestly only one of them actually work um, the other one is pretty much just there for show. We also have a pretty fast and responsive fingerprint sensor on the back of the device. Uh, I wouldn't say it's better than the Huawei Mate SEs, but it is pretty decent for $200. Now, as far as both of the cameras go, the cameras are pretty good quality for $200. Most of the photos tend to come washed out in darker settings, but you can occasionally get a good photo with the portrait mode on this phone. Next on to the display, we do have that new 18 by nine aspect ratio that every company that we see nowadays is using. So we still Still have that future proof on this device. We also have a 1440 by 720p panel that honestly just looks amazing. The wallpapers do kind of help it out a bit. Uh, if you're using a wallpaper that is not stock that doesn't come with this device, uh, some of them do look a little worse than the ones that come stock. But honestly, if you're rocking any of the stock wallpapers on here or you actually find a really good wallpaper to put on here, the colors are vibrant and it honestly just looks super nice. We also have a 2.75D curved display. Uh, as you guys see right there, it kind of looks similar to the Galaxy S7 Edge, but we don't have that full round of the display that we get with the S7 Edge, but in my opinion, it looks pretty dope to be honest. Next, I want to go ahead and actually talk about the storage because the cool thing on this phone is we do have adoptable storage. So we have 64 gigabytes internal storage on this device, but you can actually expand it via micro SD card with 128 gigabytes. And when I'm talking about expandable, if you guys don't know what that means, you can actually download apps applications on your SD card and when you pop in your SD card inside this phone you can actually use the applications that are on the SD card and I know a lot of you wanted that and on a $200 phone honestly you can't get much better than that another cool thing we see on this device is this does have bands for America and on a lot of cheaper Chinese smartphone manufacturers they do not offer bands for America uh, I know I just reviewed the Verney mix 2 and that does not have bands for the US I think the best we can get on there is 3G and I don't even think it's that good. It's it's pretty spotty as well. And on the new G3, you can actually use it with Metro PCS, T-Mobile, and a bunch of different GSM networks uh, that you wouldn't be able to use on some other phones. So I thought that was a huge, huge up for this device especially for those American viewers. And I'm pretty sure most of the people watching this video are American viewers. So huge ups to new mobile for doing that. Now for the software on this device, we are running Android 7.1.1 and honestly it looks pretty stock. I would honestly put a theme or a launch on it if you guys do not like the new mobile setup uh, and the application icons or whatever because it's honestly kind of an acquired taste. I really do not like the layout, especially the camera application icon. It just looks ugly in my opinion. So I would honestly put a launcher on there, something like Nova Launcher or whatever your favorite launcher is. I would put that over this and it would look probably pretty damn good. 
good. But if you guys do have an acquired taste for the skin we have or this phone, then, then you can keep it on there. But in my opinion, I really don't like it. Uh, the wallpapers are very nice and they do look very vibrant. So that's one of the only things I would leave on here. Another cool thing on this device is we actually have a five gigahertz band. So as you guys know, the Mate SE does not hold a five gigahertz band and a five gigahertz band basically means you have 5G on your in your Wi-Fi if you pay for that. Uh, it's basically a more, you know, faster connection if you guys are trying to do maybe high speed gaming or something like that. Even though 2.4 gigahertz is more reliable and you can, you know, have it connected with a bigger range, 5G is pretty nice sometimes, especially for gamers and some people even live in apartments such as I do so it really doesn't matter as far as range. Now onto the chipset, we have a MediaTek Helio P25. We also have a octa-core processor clocked in at 2.3 gigahertz, and we have the Mali T880 for the GPU. So uh, gaming so far on this device has been pretty good. If you guys saw my last review on the gaming, it can run PUBG, and I actually got fourth place in PUBG. I almost got a dub. So yeah, you could run you know graphic intensive games on this device with honestly no problem. We also have four gigabytes of RAM in this, so it definitely helps with the people who have a ton of windows open on this device you guys should have no problem you know streaming and using multitasking on this device now on to the battery now this is just a huge thing for some people you know we have to go to work we have to go to school we have to be out and about all you know all the time pretty much uh, so first for a lot of you the battery is probably the number one aspect of a phone and I would say the battery is pretty good we have a 3000 milliamp battery on this device um, it pretty much lasts the whole day uh, with a moderate use if you're texting and stuff like that but the really cool thing about this device is it does have fast charging so you can pretty much charge this device to 100% in like 25 minutes uh, I should probably do a video on it but it's super duper fast and honestly it's really convenient for some people uh, especially people that keep charging their phone over and over again you'll get a full charge in probably some like 25 30 minutes so really nice fast charging on there as well as the battery very good battery uh, honestly it's it's huge ups for the battery on this device. Also, another thing that people are asking a lot is, is this phone comfortable in your hands? And I have to say, Yes, definitely comfortable. With that 2.75 display, uh, how it curves inside of your hand, it feels very, very comfortable. And we also have a slim phone, such as the Galaxy S9 with that 18 by nine aspect ratio. So if you guys are scared of having a 5.7 inch phone, almost six inch phone, you guys honestly shouldn't worry. Even with my hands, like I could wrap my whole hand around the phone and have it very comfortably. So the question is, should you buy this phone? Should you buy the new mobile G3? Honestly, my answer is, Yes, it has everything a budget phone needs. It has a good battery fast charging, very good display. It has US bands for one for the people that are in the US wanting a budget phone. It's $200, like you really can't get better than this. And honestly, it's super stylish. The only thing that I would say is wrong with this phone is the new uh, logo on the back. That's honestly my biggest pet peeve about this phone. It has that new logo. And honestly, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful phone. It's I love the sapphire color. I love everything about it so far. And for $200, you just can't go wrong. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase this the link will be in the description down below now this is going to be an affiliate link so if you guys want to go ahead and help out my channel use that link in the description to go ahead and purchase this phone but yeah it is safe to buy guys if you guys want to go ahead and pick up this phone very very nice phone now i probably will do a versus in the future while we may sc versus the new g3 uh but honestly if you guys want to pay an extra 50 dollars, you can get that phone but i don't see the mate sc having an edge over the new g3 in my opinion the new g3 has everything and more it even has NFC capabilities in this device, which is pretty crazy on a $200 phone. It also games just as good as the Mate SE. I thought the Mate SE was better at first, but after that update on the PUBG Mobile, you know, the new G3 just ran it like a boss. So yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and check out the gaming review as well, definitely check that out. But in my opinion, this is a definite buy. You guys have to go ahead and pick this up. If your range is from $150 to $200, definitely spend the $200, splurge and pick up the new G3. It's an awesome phone. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you are not a part of the tech gang already. Also turn on notifications if you guys do not have them on because that does notify you when I do upload my next video. Without further ado, I hope you guys did really enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments down below. I do answer every single question. And yeah, this has been Stefan from TechRite. Hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. Peace out.